Hi, I'm Dr. Purchase Perry, and I need to tell you this story. Folks be acting like they don't know what entitlement is. <laughs> yes, I said B. I felt entitled to speak that way. Anyway, I uh, fell asleep, took a nap in the middle of the day, the much needed nap, and my neighbor called me. <clears throat> called for a couple of reasons. There were tornado warnings. She was calling to let me know that they were actually over on the other side, that we were good. We were all clear. She was also calling us go. Go Kamala. <laughs> she and her husband, husband in the background going, things are changing. Anyway, uh, she also called to tell me that somebody drove up into my driveway and then walked across to her yard and knocked on the door and said, can they put out cameras in our yard because someone saw a big giant buck and they want to capture it and um, on film. Um, but of course, you know, my neighbors knew that they were just wanting to bow hunt on our land. Now, I hope you're listening to your own entitlement. Some of you are saying, what? Who? What? And some of you are saying, well, at least they asked. I live in what's called back up in the cut. You don't go back up in the cut unless you know the people up in the cut. You don't go driving down the road back up in the cut unless you know the people who live in the cut and you know how they are and who they are and what they'll do. Now, me, I'll pray for you, but my neighbors, they don't ask no questions. Some of you are saying, we know not to go down those roads. We know not to go messing up in nobody else's house. We know if you back in the cut, you back in the cut for a reason. And some of you are saying, what? It's America. It's freedom. We can go. You can ask. At least they asked. You are the entitled ones. Hope that helps.